Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over how I did a six point light setup in Karma. I just want to give a shout out to one of the Think Procedurals admin, Midgard Summer, for helping me out with this. Hope you enjoy the video. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or any requests. All right. So before I'm going to get started, I'm going to actually set up a simulation and just like something quick from the shelf tool, just so I can demonstrate how the six point light setup would work. And let's see something here. Yeah, that should be fine just as a demonstration of how it will look like. Okay. So if you dive into the uh, geometry node and you'll find that there is in the simulation, a pyro look node and under here, uh, you have a quick setup. These are some of like uh, presets that you can use for your um, explosions and they're really helpful. So I think it's a good tip that you, uh, if you're working on an explosion and you want to like create lights, cameras and so on, you can do this. Uh, I'm going to create a render stage. This is where the Karma uh, renderer lives. And I'm just going to pick default because uh, I'm going to change it anyway. So this is pertainly for games and just like how it would be a quick render for a six point light setup. So I'm not going to go over these because I general, like I understand what they kind of do. Uh, this is to import the, uh, uh, smoke. You have your, um, uh, settings here. I haven't really looked into it. This is the material and we have the lights camera and the karma. So completely honest, I haven't really looked into this. I just straight up went into this. So I'm going to delete the two lights that are set up here because I really don't want anything to do with them. And for the uh, material, I'm actually going to turn it off because I don't need the shaders material for this. Okay. So I'm going to do a distance light and make six copies of it. And this is going to be the RGB and then the negative RGB. So I'm going to go red, green, and blue. And here I'm going to do N underscore red, N underscore uh, green, and N underscore blue. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just show, uh, the var render, and this is what you're going to use to actually, uh, so for every single light, you're going to have a var and the var render, which will allow you to section off these lights to be independent in, uh, when you render it. So here I'm just going to do var render var. And to get this to actually work, you need to go into your light and under karma, scroll down and you'll see a LPE tag. You go into this button right here and set or create. This will allow you to actually, uh, edit it. So I'm going to put red in here. And this is going to be the tag for this light. So under the render var, uh, in the, uh, data type, you would do actually would leave it the same for this one It's just the source name. And usually for the source name is you get it through here. So in the Houdini documentations under the, uh, light path expressions, if you scroll down and then you'll see, uh, all contributions, all contributions from light tagged Apple. So what this will do is if you have a, um, if you have a light that is, that has a tag, this will allow you to, uh, have the light, uh, to be just tagged for this one bar. So under here I have red. So I'm going to set the tag and the name of the light is red. So that is also the same. So I'm going to set this to L P E 
and then the float will be a color uh color 3h so now after you do that if you just take it into the camera first let me just find a good um position for this properties and i'm gonna set this to red intensity at 10 and transform say 10 and the rotate is 90 so the red light will be coming from the right okay so now i'm not gonna do anything fancy here i'm just gonna try and see what it will do when i render to amplify just to see like what it will actually uh, render so now as you can see it actually rendered a different channel for this so if i turn on green for example if i take the green and just attach it in here and take that into 10 set it to green and instead of the front i'm gonna do for the left side so I'll take it to the left oh negative not positive negative 10 and set this to negative 90. so now you have your red and green channel but if i do end up rendering this out the problem is is you're not going to be able to have the other one in there you'll have everything on top of each other but not separate it so see now that i know that this works okay so now it's basically just the same for this so you go to the light create a tag and call this green so i'm just gonna copy this here set it up under it and just change this to green and the name to green so if i render this again Now we have the green channel. So red and green. Technically you can do it this way, but if you have like multiple channels, you won't be able to do it this way. Okay. So now I basically will do it for all of them. So we have the uh, blue. Also, Somebody else might have done this in a better way. So this is just the way I found uh, after doing the research and uh, talking to people. And a lot of people helped me from the Discord. So much appreciated. Uh, okay, so we call this blue. And we set this to the camera. Change it to 10, blue, and for this one, it will be, I think at the top, yeah. So 10, negative 90. Okay, that should be good. Just to make sure, I'm gonna come here, set up the tag to blue. Okay, uh, let's see.
red, green, and blue. Awesome. So that, if you just wanted to do the three channels, you can do that for this one. I will keep going. I know it's weird. It looks like a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. So I'm just going to make three more copies of this. Set them up under each other. So I'm just going to do copy. Uh, set or create green, green, green. Just making it faster for myself and maybe just put it this way. All right, so if I set it up this way, also you can rename your vars however you'd like. I'm just going to keep it the same. Okay, now that I have these, oh. so for the other green, this will go to the back. So intensity of 10. Green, transform, Make me negative 10, 90, no, one, I think 360 actually. Oh, no, 180. Okay. So that's the back. Then I have the blue, which is going to be the front. So 10 color blue. And let's see. 10. Okay, perfect. Last one is the red and it's going to be at the bottom. So we go negative 10 and the X will be 90. The color will be red. Density 10. Now I'm just going to make sure all of them are correct. 10 blue. 10. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a look at it and see if I actually rendered all of them. Green, blue, red. Perfect. So now after this is done is basically when you take it into comps and you put it together if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, this is how you set up a six-point light setup in uh, Karma.